TV10 and WRNR are proud to bring you this episode of Law Enforcement Live, recorded on the 24th of September, the year 2020. Thank you to Berkeley County Sheriff Curtis Keller for allowing us to give you this look into a day in the life of a law enforcement officer. This episode features a disabled vehicle, a vehicle accident. Law Enforcement Live is filmed live with the men and women of law enforcement. All participants in tonight's show are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. Deputy Robinson in his natural habitat. Do you live here? Do you live here? Yeah. Do you know whose car that is? Along with them people down in that little trailer court. In the trailer court? Do you... Right there on the right, just start down over the hill. Yeah. Do you know whose it is exactly or which trailer I they live in? I just know. I'm going up and down the road. Okay. I can get involved in it. I got you. Kenny talked to you about it because of they parked it there last night, they didn't tag them, nothing on it. You said the, the guy's name lived there is Kenny? Yeah, I'll get him. Yeah, he's good. I'll just talk he, to him. He's one of those. Okay. Is there a car coming up there? I got my So, yeah, I'm about to move for you. Pretty please, I appreciate it. No problem. Roadway coming. You're good this way. Okay. I know there's one this way, but I can't see this way. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, sir. You wouldn't happen to know whose car that is, would you? I don't know their names, but I know where they live at. Which trailer is it? Uh, that very first one. The very first one. Because I've been there three time, times, four times a day. Wait a minute, I gotta get a hold of something. He can't. He can't get around. Uh, I've been down there four times a day, and I seen him, me and him I, together, I rode down twice. there, and the car was there, and it turned the porch light off, but they would not answer the door. So I said, "Stop it," mm -hmm. and I called you off. Okay. He's been sitting here since. You see a little black wagon sitting there in another car. You well, a little green bunch of shit. Well, green, you yeah, call it. Little, little station wagon. Yes, yeah, little front, station front, wagon. Front, yeah. Su Subaru. It's a Subaru station wagon sitting there. Okay, probably and, out back. But see, it's so far out in the road, we put them cones up there. And I figured I'd give them a chance to come and get it. It's been there since last night. Yep. Well, in fact, my daughter and them <coughs> had to help her put you back to there. She was a woman, but I know she lives with a guy down there. <laughs> And, uh, camera. Camera. Yeah. Has nobody touched that thing? So I told everybody to stay away from it. Good. You got Dave's number? Uh, uh, e and M models. Yeah, Dave. No, I had it. Uh, I, got, I got it in my phone. I thought 42 did it. I had a repo <coughs> link.
pretty classy back in the day. Got lighters and ashtrays on the back doors. Plenty of nights on the car and it came on. Yeah. About as secure as it can be since the window won't roll up. You ready? Sure. We're going to go head down to their address, see if we can make contact with them. What's the number here? 757. 757? Okay. It says their house is 655. I'm sure a lot of people are going to see that and wonder why I was looking through it. What I was doing was resecuring the doors. Because if they did actually have any valuables in there, I'm sure they don't want anybody getting in there and stealing stuff. Of course, they're not being powered to that window. It can't really be any more secure than that. He said it's got a green outback in front of it. There's one right there. Well, he said green Subaru. Mm -hmm. I mean, outback's the most common Subaru uh, station wagon I know of. Yeah, six six five jackpot. In the Forester. Hello. Hi. Are you Miss Simmons? Yeah. What's the deal with your old car? I'm kidding. He's going to go get it. It's, um, it, the battery died. I kind of figured. Yeah, he's getting ready to go get it. I was just getting dressed. Yeah, y'all getting it right now? Yeah, he, okay. I was just getting dressed. I was just putting my shoes on. Yeah, I didn't know what your old, what the deal with it was. I just wanted to give you all the opportunity to get yeah, it. Yeah, because otherwise I got towed, you know, because it's in the. It, the room. battery, it, we've, we've been having an issue with the battery. It keeps dying. It died last night. And mm -hmm. She said we could leave it there because he had to get up free this morning to go to work. Okay. And um, I was just putting my shoes on. Gotcha. Get my socks and shoes on. Yeah, so he the, go gen get it. the gentleman that lives there, I guess. Uh, he didn't know about it, so he had no idea of what the deal with it was. So, whoever you talked to the didn't, didn't wife? inform him. I guess it's the wife. It's the woman that lives there. Know. I'm not familiar with anyone. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. if y'all are going to go get it, then... Yeah, I'll, we'll be living here in about 10 minutes at the most. All right, thank you.
39271. This is a vibe I got a post with. Copy. What's your I already told Berkeley about the pole. Give them the number? Yeah. Thank you. Oh yeah. Skid marks, yaw marks, nothing. Like he never even hit the brakes before, so the pole, the pole was the brake. Yeah. Unless they're back here somewhere. Call you back. I got to talk to a police officer. All right, buddy. Man. Nah, I'm good, man. The, I just the arrow back just hit me. Yeah, I was gonna say you're yeah. doing stuff. Yeah, I know my nose is stuff. Uh, there. Are you driving? I mean, in the vehicle? I'm sorry, you get passengers? Or yeah, she's my wife. Just your wife? Yeah. I think you should call the state of the You got your uh, license registration insurance for it? I gotta get it out of the car. Is it in the glove box? Yeah, the toilet's better be in the glove box and everything. But I'm not the one that was driving though. I was in the passenger seat. She was going to drive? Yeah, she was driving. Can you call her over here? Yes, yeah, babe. Can you write the statement? Gotta be there. All that paperwork is there. Hey, buddy. I got a report. They main charge, right? I got an ability. I don't think it's gonna pay for anything. I don't see him 
sign. If you can't find it in there, are you able to pull it up on your phone? Or is she able to? We don't got that online thing yet. Okay. Find the registration. Do you have your license on you with you at all? Huh? Do you have your license on you with you? No. I can give you my information. Yeah. Not much I can write. <laughs> Not much I can write that too much. Yeah. Do you want to put my information there too? Yes. Going to the peace practice. Yeah. Soccer practice. Yeah. Write them down too because I need everybody to have cards. Just right, we were headed to soccer. My son soccer practice, or should? I mean, you don't write it. You don't have to write that, but like. Right then. Yeah. Oh, okay. Include his. Uh, name. my name and everything. Yeah. I just need names and birthdays. Four days and shit. I try to look at that. I don't see it. Not really, because I don't usually drive this car. We have another car that's usually mine. We just take this when we take her. Just drive this. Is it insurance? Yes. As far as I, he takes care of everything legal. Honestly, I don't know. Like I just, he takes care of all that, and I don't. I don't know. I need to take care of. I need insurance for this place. Okay. Call somebody or what? Uh, That's general insurance, I don't know. It's really online, it's really online thing. Good. What's that? The date. Uh, today is uh, uh, September 24th. Do you know Dobson over there? Dobson? Chris? Merson? Dobson and Merson? Yeah. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I got their hair and stuff. Oh, do you? Yeah, he's barber. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah.
that up without hmm. you're gonna pull that up without it getting dug up. Uh, it's definitely gonna dig a little bit. I mean, as long as it don't get stuck. Oh, it's kind of
care about, but that's exactly where my intuition's pointing. I yeah, really would appreciate it if they could give me some insurance before I write them to take over. But I figured you could be able to handle better than I could. So she pulled off to go with us? Yeah. Uh, I like it. Okay. This one right here. I don't see. Two Victor Zulu five eight seven displayed on a blue Hyundai Accent or correction Hondra. Was it that house right there? Yes, that okay, you yeah, you must have left like right before I came down here. I was like, yeah. well, I like I just shone my light through the yard. I didn't see anyone. So. I was telling him a complaint like that. It's either or Someone's the walking. strangers. Yeah. You ever seen that movie? <laughs> <laughs> well, they said they didn't want to talk to anyone, so. Oh. Oh, yeah, they did, didn't they? I figured someone was probably just walking, they just didn't recognize them. Alright, I'm clearing then. Yeah. What was the deal with uh, that drug complaint? I had no idea. I pretty much lost interest, so they didn't remember they didn't want any information. Oh. They give out any information. Yeah, he. Like, he you took enough stupid. Calls today. That welfare check. As soon as I rolled up, everybody was gone. Really? I thought you were just being nice. I didn't know you thought that I was a North unit, and yeah, they just I kept with me. I'm nice all the time. Yeah, but yeah, like I all the time. I seriously so. thought you were North, and I'm like, why did you give them the North? No, because Hagee put me and you South because of how they was, and left Mercer North. Now everything is like. Yeah. Kind of, sort of. Dude, that wreck was... What'd you get? I was running. A really bad wreck. And Merson pretty much just saved this guy and his girlfriend, uh, some wrath. At least that's, like, the way me and his intuition was leading towards. Because the guy don't got a license. He's got, he has residency here. Or, well, he says his residency is, like, up right now, but... I'm like 99% sure he was driving, his girlfriend was passenger, and they were telling me something op the opposite, and then like, I asked them for their insurance, and they just beat around the bush the entire time. I still don't have it. So I told Merson, I was like, when you talk to him, like, also make sure they get me that insurance, because otherwise I'm doing warrants on her. Because my spidey sense the whole time, I asked her about it repeatedly, and every time I asked her, I just sensed that like underlying dishonesty the whole time. Like if she'd just been like, "Yeah, I don't got insurance on it right now," I'd been like, "Hey, that's you know, it's whatever. You know, there's, there's hard times." But we'll see. I was telling him I think Heggy's about to pull out the last bit of hair he has left. Yeah. Color in the area of Cardinal Drive, Carroll Drive, on Hayward Station Road. 
calling in regards to an injured deer requesting a discharge of firearm to put it down. 55-119, you want me to handle that? Yeah, you're not tied up. 10-4, about to clear here. Mercury direct. That little thing. Come on now. The guy's flagging us down like a little sick. Copy your volume, will you? That's your name. Seven. Seven. Terry Joe's I came around the curve and the, the deer came out and she went under my car she's a baby she went under my car and ended up right there and this gentleman stopped I stopped um, somebody called you guys to come and put her down but she's she's already tapped out you think she just tapped right from yeah She's pretty much, ta she, she's not kicking or nothing anymore. Did it do any damage to your vehicle? Hell no. <laughs> A German engineering, man, come on. No, she's tiny, but, but, but no. But I guess uh, somebody had come by and they said, give us three minutes, because normally uh, I, I'm, I'm a concealed carry permit person, mm -hmm. I, but I don't have any firearms on me. Uh, otherwise, I would have put her down, but you know, they didn't want to come out here and shoot off a gun close to the highway, you know, legal yeah. legal wise. So, yeah, she she finally just gave out. She was kicking for a little while, All right. but nah, I don't know who's gonna come pick her up. But I'm gonna notify the UH to come pick it up. Okay. Yeah, they'll probably stop by in the morning. Cool. Yeah, yeah I, I... It was like I was coming around the curve right here, and she jumped out of the bush right there. Just boom! So, I stopped up there where your car is. Hey, live feed, man. We on live PD? Yeah, uh, TV10. Nice. <laughs> Lo awesome. Lo local version. So You know, the one that's still airing. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm eating Taco Bell while we're at it. All right. But, um, Product placement. But, <laughs> but yeah, uh, no, we hit the, I hit the deer, went under the car, spun out, went in front of his car before he stopped. And there's been several deer jumping around. All right. So, well, we're going to get out of here then. All righty, brother. Yep. You stay safe. Yep. I'll try. You, you stay safe as well and yes. keep him safe. I'll try. <laughs> yeah, this is what I was talking about. Normally they're already dead when we get there. Um, it's usually only the like real meaty adult deer that are still alive that can you know, handle a car crash and still be alive for a little bit. Normally the babies, they don't last very long.